Hi, I'm Richard, development chef here at Morrison's. I'm going to show you how to make delicious oozing raspberry donuts, perfect for Halloween. And there's no need for a professional fryer, you can make these in a pan at home. So first of all, we need to make the dough. So into our milk, we add some sugar, our yeast, and we whisk this together and we leave it for about five minutes until it starts to bubble, which will show you that the yeast is working. So when the liquid's bubbling, we're gonna add our beaten eggs and whisk that together. And then we take our flour, add a pinch of salt, and then we start to add our liquid to our flour. And you can do this by hand. Also, the softened butter goes in at this stage and you bring this together to form a dough that we can then take out of the bowl and we can knead on the work surface for about 15 minutes. So after about 15 minutes, we place the dough into an oiled bowl, cover with cling film and leave to prove for approximately two hours until it's about doubled in size. So when the dough's doubled in size, we're going to take off the cling film, tip the dough out onto the bench and knock it back. And this just means knocking the air out of it. So you need it for about one minute. We're then going to roll it into a sausage shape and then cut it and roll it into even balls and place those onto a baking sheet. We need to make sure there's a space in between each of them as they'll double in size again. So here's a tray that have proved for about 35 minutes. We'll then take off the cling film, which will mean they form a skin, leave them for about 10 minutes and they'll be easy to handle. So I've heated up a pan of vegetable oil and to check it's at the right temperature, I've got a little bit of dough. So I'm going to carefully drop into the oil on a spoon. And if that floats up to the top and colours in about 10 or 15 seconds, then that oil's hot enough. Perfect. We're ready to cook. So while the oil's been heating, I've prepared two trays. One with kitchen paper to drain the donuts onto, and one with some caster sugar to roll them in afterwards. So we're going to carefully lift the dough onto the spoon and place into the oil. And we cook them for about 30 seconds on each side. We then lift them carefully out of the oil, drain them quickly on kitchen paper, and then roll them in our caster sugar. And when the oil stops bubbling again, they're ready to come out. and carry on until you finish cooking them all. So I've got a piping bag full of raspberry jam. You can make a slit in the side or just pop it straight in. Give it a good squeeze. And how easy was that? Oozing raspberry jam donuts. Eat them fresh and warm. <laughs>